are Anson and this is Anjali. We are from Cochin International Language Academy, SILA, and we'll be doing a mock OET role play. So, here's your paper. You have three minutes to prepare for this thing. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Anjali. I'm one of the nurses in this clinic. Uh, David, um, you were just diagnosed with IBS and you wanted to talk to me regarding the diagnosis. Is that correct? That's right. And uh, could you please tell me what kind of information do you need? Well, uh, the thing is I, I don't really know anything about IBS. That's mm -hmm. the first thing. Mm -hmm. The second thing is that I've been having several episodes of bowel syndromes and bowel problems. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to know more about the same. You know? Definitely. Uh, I'll explain it to you. However, before we move further, I'd like to ask a few uh, questions regarding your um, symptoms. Would that be alright for you? That's fine. Okay. So, uh, you told me that you have been experiencing some bubble problems. Uh, yeah. What exactly are, are, were those symptoms? Well, I've been having some abdominal cramps, some mm -hmm. frequent wind problems which mm -hmm. are quite embarrassing. Okay. And uh, mm -hmm. I've been having diarrhea mm -hmm. and flatulence as well. Okay. So I don't know how to deal with these, you know. Okay. It's quite embarrassing for me. Okay, uh, I can imagine how difficult the situation might have been for you, yeah. but definitely we'll be able to help you. Uh, okay, let me ask you a few more questions. How long have you been suffering from these problems? Well, it's been about three months, I'd say. Mm -hmm. And how often do you get these symptoms? Well, it happens all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, when it actually started, it happened a few times, mm -hmm. but afterwards it kind of worsened. Oh, I see. And uh, you told me that you are having cramp, cramp like pains or cramps. Yeah. So, could you rate your pain on a scale of 1 to 10? 1 being um, really manageable and uh, 10 being really severe? I'd say it's about 6, 7. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I see. Alright. Uh, so, uh, and uh, for the past 3 months you have been having the symptoms, haven't you? Yes, that's true. So, during this time, have you noticed any factors or any uh, any symptoms or any factors that are worsening your symptoms like stress or any other issues? Yeah, thinking about it, uh, I've recently started a new job which mm -hmm. is highly paid but very stressful and after I got in this new job, I've been suffering from the same symptoms but even more so. The things have worsened after that. David, thank you for sharing this information with me. Uh, so now I would like to uh, explain about IBS. Uh, IBS is called irritable bowel syndrome. Okay. This happens when your intestines uh, becomes oversensitive. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, and uh, when it becomes oversensitive, the smooth muscles becomes overactive. All right. Uh, this in turn causes uh, problems like spasms, cramps, and uh, 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 other issues or other symptoms like uh, constipation, diarrhea, or both. Now it makes sense, okay? All right. Before I suggest a few treatment options, I'd like to ask a few more questions regarding your uh, daily routine and food habits. Uh, would that be all, all right for you? Yeah, that's okay. Okay. So, um, what do you usually have for your uh, breakfast? Well, ever since I started my new job, I've been off my diet. Mm -hmm. I've been having all sorts of fast food and I haven't been able to take the things that I usually want, you know, okay. like good. All right. So, overall, there has been a change in your diet. That's also. true. Okay, uh, I, I understand that. Uh, you mentioned that you are you are under a lot of stress, and you know mm -hmm. you have a very busy schedule. So, uh, have you been doing anything to relax or you know de-stress yourself? No, I haven't had time for the same. To be frank. Okay. So, uh, David, from based on what you just uh, shared with me, I'd like to discuss a few treatment options for you. Okay. Would, uh, would that be all right? That'd be amazing. Okay. So. Uh, as I can see from your file that you know you, your doctor has given you a few medications. So uh, I'd suggest you to you know take those medications on time and finish the course. All right. Um, then uh, furthermore, uh, the main um, step that you can take towards you know to help with your condition would be to make some changes in your diet. Okay. Uh, this can be done by uh, avoiding gas-producing food. 
Okay. Uh, do you have any knowledge about what are gas producing food? Yeah, I have an idea of the same like uh, broccoli and stuff like Yes, that. Uh, this in this especially broccoli, cauliflower, yeah. uh, cabbage, such food items are all, all, all causes uh, problems like flatulence. So you should you know cut down on those kind of food. And right. you told me that uh, because of the stress you have been ha uh, you have been me skipping meals or you know your um, diet has changed significantly. That's true. Uh, what I would like you to do is uh, you know gradually I would like you to work on that and okay. um, the best way to do that is try not to skip any meals. Alright, I'll okay. try doing that. Make sure you have your breakfast, lunch and dinner uh, on time and on a regular and try not to skip any of those. So would this actually prevent future bouts of this condition? Uh, it would uh, prevent as well as right now it will help you to you know, get better. Alright, I'll do that. Alright, and along with this, um, one, one more recommendation that I have is about your managing your stress. Mm -hmm. I know it is difficult with your work schedule, busy uh, you know, uh, uh, with the new job and everything. This yeah. might be, uh, managing everything can be difficult. Right. However, it would be better if you could involve yourself in some, some kind of activity. Uh, that you know that helps you to relax it can be yoga mm -hmm. or it can be you know um, doing meditation or it can be some you know taking going for a walk at least 50 to 20 minutes a day going for a walk might actually work i'll try doing that um, and uh, i really appreciate your, you know uh, enthusiasm so um, uh, i would suggest you know i would i would uh, ask you to make these changes uh, and uh, i'm here to help you and if you have any issues regarding this you can always uh, um, you know um, clarify those queries right. thank you so, uh, i hope i have made myself clear yeah you've been clear so far okay do you have any further concerns for me no i'm good nurse thank okay. you all right thank you david